Today on Things I Love, we've got another review for you of this new Lego 3-in-1 set. Oh, wow! <laughs> there she is, folks. Lisa's here. It's huge! <laughs> Looking forward to this review today on Things I Love. you are new to this channel we're all about Disney Star Wars and of course Lego here at things I love and so if those are things that you love too we would love for you to be a part of our family here hit that subscribe button down below hit that bell to be notified of these weekly positive videos and give us a big thumbs up if you like this video all right this is another new set uh, Lego three-in-one creator set for our Lego city and we've you know if you've heard our stories before we've got a Lego playlist right here you can check out I got an origin story there. I, I had been buying Lisa a new Lego creator set every Christmas. And since then, we've kind of gotten a little carried away with it. <laughs> now I'm getting them as often as I can. Midlife crisis. Um, so, yeah. So, got her this set, and I didn't put this one together at all. She oh, put it I did it. A, a little bit at a time. So, why don't you get into it and talk about it a little bit? Well, I love the way that this set is um bagged because it gave me just enough time to build one bag each day and it only took maybe maximum 30 minutes to build one bag and so i started with different pieces how many there, bags were there there were six bags okay and i enjoyed just looking at the different designs and it it does remind me truly of a new york apartment it, it's not quite the style yeah. of where we lived on the upper west side um, one part of it is, but the others aren't. So. One, one thing I thought was interesting about this set is the Lego 3-in-1 sets um, are a little bit smaller scale than the Lego um, Creator Expert sets. Um, but this one is still that smaller scale, but it's taller than the rest of them, uh, it, which is nice. It has a nice, it, it adds some dimension to our city, which is mostly 3-in-1 sets. We have one Lego Creator Expert that is the... Um, Christmas firehouse um, set so yeah and it's a little smaller but it, it is it, yeah. so it works well with it but too. these um, I liked the unique pieces with it so I started um, with the hot dog. another thing too though is, is she's looking at, oh. at the uh, book here that comes with it usually these are several three different books at least but they keep it all in one book this time yeah. which is helpful for storing them I mean, that's pretty pretty thick there. Um, it was really helpful for storing them because oftentimes you lose one of the books. Yeah. So, um, but I like, I liked how that was. But we started with the hot dog vendor building this hot dog cart. Got to well, have a dirty water hot dog for the city because our city is New York City. You know, we've lived there. Yeah. And, and this shirt right here, I always like to wear a shirt that goes with uh, the show. This is the subway lines in New York. So I've got my New York City shirt on today. And so, yeah, dirty water hot dogs. Love them. Well, th these are grilled. <laughs> these are not dirty water. No, and they're dirty water. Okay, whatever. <laughs> what I really like, I love the ketchup and mustard That's on so the really end. Cool. That is so cool. And then I love that they've done the little um, color, the translucent blocks underneath. Let me show this real quick. We talk about these uh, hot dog and mustard dispensers here. So the top of these is is used in a lot of Lego City stuff, maybe for like, um, like we've a garden got hose or a garden faucet, hose, faucet. faucet. We've got the gas station. It's in fact, the gas they station use one pump. in the kitchen of um, the build too. So really cool. You get to see the different Sometimes ways. Sometimes lamps. They use them for lamps. That that's used. But that was neat, and I love even the design of the hot dog in the bun um, of the cart. <laughs> that it was really clever. And um, we just discovered that we have this minifig, um, we have him from another set also. Except for his hat's red. Yes, his hat is, <laughs> well actually I think I stole that red hat yeah. from the popcorn vendor, but uh, the which other. Is, which is something I wanted to mention, because I, I before we started the show, I told Lisa, I said, why don't you go over there and make sure we've got all the minifigs that came with this set and stuff, because what I like to do is mix them up 
throughout all of the city. Well, because they don't just stay in one place, sure, you right. know. They got to go do their shopping, yeah. go to the toy store. There's like a thousand toy stores in our... Yeah, not, there are a lot really of toy stores. Other, maybe three. But anyway, does, so that was the yeah. first thing we started with. And then um, after that, I started to build this, which is a little, it's a little diner on the bottom. At least that's what I think it looks like is a diner. So let's turn this around. So they can actually see inside. I think it's supposed to be a coffee shop, but you can't. The only way we know is because there's a coffee cup on the outside. But um, I love that they. That I love the pendant lamp inside. I think that's really cool. It had some unique pieces on the outside too. It had the traditional windows, but then it also created an arch with the gray pieces. And then the next thing... We might have to scoot it around to see what's inside to talk about. Right, um, but I, that one was, it had a bench seat and a, cha and a table, but I love the pendant lamp. I think that's just really fun. It is it's cool. Um, and then I did the top, which was, I think this one is the kitchen, which was really cool. So it's got... It's got a um, sink. Sink and... Little mini stove fridge. Stove across from it. Which would be oh. exactly the size that you would have in a tiny apartment in New York. Wish we could have x-ray vision that could see through this, but we do have to turn it around. Something <laughs> that I thought was really neat, and I am going to turn the whole thing around okay. for this, okay. is when you're looking at the balcony, I had never seen um, this kind of, it, this kind of makes it art deco with this um, pie slice piece. For the handle? For the handle on the door. That's cool. That was really neat. And then these birds, these little white parrots that are at the very top of the of the build that was really cool you know lego does a great job of putting pieces together to make animals um but these are actually molded these are molded uh, like and they the they parents. were just designed to go on the building and they're white can... so yeah yeah they're pretty cool so those were neat because it does give you that sense of being you know in a city and I also like these other pieces that... A little it... bit of trivia while we're talking about the birds. <laughs> there was a building on the Upper West Side where we lived that used to have a zoo on the roof. Ah. Bears and all kinds of stuff. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my, oh look, scissors. Oh. So, and then I also liked, hold on. Scissors. I know, <laughs> and it comes with two just in case you lose one. But it had these scroll work pieces above the window, which I think are really beautiful. Anyway. Then the next bag started with the, the roof pieces. Uh, they, I, I thought it was interesting that it you didn't finish this side in one bag. You did the kitchen and mm. then it stopped and mm. then the next bag included the, uh, the roof and the pet store, mm -hmm. which is on the bottom. And you'll notice, or I mean... Maybe the garden. I think the garden was next. You know, as we've been turning this around, you notice that the three-in-one sets are always empty on the back. Um, there's not a wall there. And so when I'm positioning them in the whole city scene, that makes it kind of fun to, you know, position it in a way that you can't tell. But sometimes you can, and that's where my extra pieces come into play, and I'll build an extra wall. Right. Um, but this one is really neat because you could disconnect it and move the buildings around. They don't have to be right next to each other they, because the colors are different. Then the next thing I built was this outdoor cafe with the cool croissant, and it has the menu on a stand there, which, by the way, is in French. Is it uh, really? Yes. <laughs> the girls told me it was in French, um, which I thought was pretty cool. That's cool. Um, then, uh, on this side over here, where the stoplight is, is a pet store. And let's start with the outside. I, oh. I, lo I love the stoplight. We've got, uh, the stoplight was really fun to and build. And we've got a few cars in the city, but we don't yet have a stoplight. And um, Yeah, we need a stoplight. And, and the go light and the slow down light. And yeah. <laughs> so, um, and here's our pet store owner with a bone in his hand. And I love this little outdoor um, display there with a green ball and a red ball and then some, some bones, bones yeah. for the dog. And we couldn't decide if this was an ATM or if it was an actual place like outdoor cash register right, because sometimes in cities they do have that yeah. like especially if they have things that uh for sale on the sidewalk yeah um people would be standing outside a bodega or whatever to take your money there with a cash register i'm gonna take some of this apart and show them oh they're so fun there's a this little is a really fun aquarium there that was one of my favorite 
things to do because it worked with a piece that would go for a wind like a windshield of a car. Yeah. Um, you know, empty on the back, but that goes up against a wall, so it doesn't doesn't really matter. And then um, inside where the cash register is has a a clear wall made with like window pieces, not framed window pieces, but like uh, and underneath is a little mouse and he has <laughs> cheese. And then there's this toucan right here. And, and he's on a, a perch. Really cool build there. Yeah, that one was really neat to make. It um, definitely was trying to figure out which way to put those wedge pieces was was challenging. But what I really like is the next layer. And I'll see if I can get it out. Yeah. Yeah. This was really really cool. This is like a credenza. Credenza. It's just an entertainment center. So. You got your TV. I do not know why they're having them watch racing. Maybe they should be watching the Lego movie. You there know? you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Disney something, you know. <laughs> so this is like your speakers, which I love that. That's so cool. And I love these little pieces. They had you build them sideways. So they look like books, right? Yeah. Or a DVD collection. Or yeah. records. Records. They yeah. could be. Vinyls. Yeah. You know, this could be like a really old, I don't know. Yeah, and what's cool is you mentioned the... Um, this being speakers, I'm gonna take the cover off. All it is is just one of the Lego pieces with the, with the, the circles on, on the top. front. Yeah. I love cover, those you, little great pieces. They're they're really great. Once you cover it up, it just look because of what it is. It looks like speakers. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and it's on the back of the television too. They have one like that. Go in here. Mm-hmm. All the way. All the way in. So, and then there's a little couch and a um and a plant, but I really like the glass. I like yeah. that it looks like a real high-rise apartment. The other thing is these on the outside move back and forth. Yeah. Like they're uh, like blinds almost, or shutters, right. just or. On the outside instead of the inside. Right. But Those were fun cool. to build. Those were very repetitive, but um, the way, just the symmetry of it was really nice. And you've also got the brick walls on the inside which is very common in older apartments in new york and because you know, lego has the one side is just straight horizontal lines and the other side is the brick look you can get that modern look on the outside of the building and then the inside looks very rustic did you talk about this no not yet okay hit it well <laughs> what i was going to also say is on that second level is a really cool coffee cup yeah that shows the Moves. And this right here, I didn't know what the point of it was. This is a, I don't a light understand movie. why it moves. Well, but you had a good point of what you thought it looked like. Um, oh, it looks like a vent on the outside yeah, of a house. It looks like an air conditioning Yeah, vent, like those, uh, yeah. Which makes sense, yeah. Yeah. Um, this piece here that looks like a gutter actually is what attaches the pieces together. This was a challenge to build, but it, it was really neat to see how the designers put it together. It was a... A rod with multiple pieces that went on top and then things that sealed in and then it rotates but what's really cool is if you wanted to take them apart you could but it gives it stability in that upper section so it's not going to come off and it just that's what anchors the whole thing together it's form and function yeah there you go and then this is uh, pretty cool yeah and the top layer of the townhouse is the bedroom and it's got a little night table with a cool modern looking lamp and cell phone. And then on the top, of course, we have our um, solar, panel. solar panel. Thank you. You're yeah. welcome. And then these were cool. I'd never used these. It was a really brilliant idea sideways. of how they did this. So it's kind of, what do you call this? A, a pergola? I guess it's called a pergola, um, yeah. Let's see if I can come out of it just a little bit. Oh. See. But then I'm going to take one of these off and just show you that it's just a, a plate. Uh, that you put in. Plate. I did have to redo these because I was having trouble figuring out which direction to put them at first because I was got having trouble. These hooks, the hook pieces that, um, yeah, that it just hooks right And into. I'm not used to using them that way because we've used them in so many other ways in the build. In every build I've done, I've used them in different ways. Like there's one here. It's definitely a unique um, they're way. They're here. Um, but that right. was that, really those same cool. pieces are right yeah. here as the... it was really neat I really like these glass blocks I think they're I think they give it a really sleek look now so you I... were gonna tell me about that 
I am gonna tell you about that. Um, I guess I can do that now. So when we put this down uh, to show you, Lisa immediately, cause she put it together. Yeah. She's like, what is that piece right there? I was there? like, you that messed it up. That does not go there. Look, it's just a couple of two by fours um, that I put together. And the reason I did it, and I'm gonna show you some pictures, is because uh, this building has a super. And for those of you that don't live in New York or a big oh. city, that's a superintendent that takes care of the building. This building has a super. And the, the position that I have this on the table <laughs> like, okay. is uh, there's a little pipe running up our oh, wall. Oh, yes. <laughs> there's okay. a little pipe running up our wall that's, hold, that's holding in the electrical cord that goes to the lighting above our desk. And it's just part of the fun of Lego is just creating stories. It's a girl super. It is a girl, girl super. Power. I had her as a part of the gas station, I think. Mm -hmm. She has a wrench. And I so I put her on, I built a ladder from my pieces from the Lego... Um, just a creator set that I had. And I built a, a, a ladder and she's working on that pipe. Um, and there's some pictures for you to see what's going on there. But it's part of the fun is like, it was sitting next to that pipe, that random kind of um, pipe that I wanted to kind of cover up anyways. And I just decided to use it as part of the laser. Hey, um, you know there was a guy that went to the hardware store and he asked for some two by fours and the guy said, how long do you need him? And he said, a long time, I'm gonna build a house. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Not a dad joke. So... That's a mom joke. <laughs> Actually, I heard it from my dad, so I guess it's a dad joke. So there you go, folks. That is a great set. It's for my two cents. I think it's one of the best ones that we have. It was and, really and fun. The to reason build. is, is because of the unique builds inside. Honestly. The, oh my gosh! Chairs. I just noticed there's like a there's a little plant in the window in the kitchen. Yeah, the, I forgot the kitchen I looks like a kitchen. I mean, it's they've gotten really good at um, using these yeah, pieces. Yeah, just the way they're yeah putting it together to actually look functional. This was a hard one to find. Uh, yeah, we, it was. It, it's discontinued on Lego site. Uh, not discontinued. It's backordered on their site, and which means. Um, the Lego store was the only place that we could find it. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't in Targets, wasn't in anywhere, and uh, and we were able to find it. But uh, we do love this set. And, yeah, it's a great set. Um, now we've kind of gotten caught up on the new Lego Creator 3 and one so now I'm we need more. going on eBay and finding older ones, which cost more. So, you know, there, there is a budget. We're not going to spend all our money on this. <laughs> but it is something we enjoy doing together. All right, well, that is it with this new Lego 3 and one set. It is set number 31097. Go out there, get it. It's a great set. And like Lisa said, you know, take your time. You know, enjoy, enjoy it. Enjoy it. There's six different bags. You know, do a bag here, do a bag there. and, and Or each one of your family members time. could do a bag. That's true. And That's put true. it together. That would be a fun family activity. All right. Well, this has been a great show today. If you are new to our family here, Disney, Star Wars, and Lego, that's the trifecta here. We'd love for you to be part of the family. Hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell to be notified of these weekly positive videos. And give us a big thumbs, thumbs up, up if you like this video. And also comment. We want to hear from you. What do you like about this set? What do you not like about this set? What sets do you love? We want to hear from you and then share it with all your friends and family. All right. This is Mark Eddington and Lisa Eddington. Just a bit about us to help you be, be more you. you. All right, we gotta go put this back in the Lego City and uh, you know get the party going again. Between the hot dogs and the coffee. Coffee. The coffee. Guys, I'm coffee and the hot dogs. <laughs> Have fun everybody. <laughs>